everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video. Now today I'm going to be working with the Atwell collection by Fancy Pants. And I have several of the papers and just a little bit of the embellishments. Actually, I only bought the tags to go with it. I don't think I bought any embellishments to go with it besides those. <laughs> so as I was laying them on my table looking at what I wanted as my background, I kind of noticed that if I kind of did a two-corner of each in all of these three designs, it really looked very cute. So I went ahead and did that, and I'm just trying to, I wanted a little bit more than what I had. <clears throat> now, not thinking about it, of course, as I'm creating this, that yellow diagonal stripe that's all the way at, on the bottom layer is not going to reach a wow, across for 12 inches. It's going to be a quarter inch short. Now, I fix it by just taking a bit of those scraps in the white cardstock and making a little banner up there. But if I'd been thinking about it, what I would have done was trimmed it and had the banner not be all the way over at the edge. This is my triple banner punch from Stampin' Up. I love it. It works very well. You can do those three sizes on the top. You can also go in from the back and just do your own size. So here I am just making that little banner. and. I, like I said, if I'd been thinking about it, I was just annoyed at the fact that I hadn't thought that it wasn't going to make it all 12 inches. So I wasn't thinking about, you know, you should trim it about an inch in and then just use the banner as to hide the paper. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so yay, we're done. <laughs> we're good with that. So I have this photo of my dog. And I really loved the richness of the colors of the Atwell collection but I didn't find them to be super cohesive. There were only two papers that had all of the colors in the line in them. And one had feathers, which didn't really work for my layout. And the other was a bold watercolor floral, which is beautiful, but I'll be honest, I'm really never going to use it. So, Here's a funny story. I'm sitting in my car. When I come off the highway from my work, usually I'm leaving at the same time as everyone else. So when I get to the exit where I am going to my where I live, I usually have to, there's a stop sign at the end of that. So it takes me a while to get through. And I'm kind of sitting there and I'm in the process of very slowly purging my older product that I've had since 2003 that I'm being honest with myself am I actually going to use this and if not let's find a better place for it to be not in my house so I had found these pinked circles that I had used to cut out on my silhouette and you know I just brought them out thinking oh, I might be able to use these and then I'm sitting on my I'm you know sitting waiting for the waiting to get to the stop sign and all of a sudden I'm like oh my gosh what if I took the colors I have in the background and put them inside these pink circles around my photo and I'm like I am a genius yay okay so while I told that story I did take those three papers and I went ahead and put them behind my photo which I did mat with a piece of scrap black cardstock that I had hanging around I also grabbed from the Bella Boulevard line Rover I think it's called Rover that paw print sticker those are the types of things, the themed things, that I don't buy the paper. I will just buy a sticker sheet. So I have the sticker sheet for the cat and the sticker sheet for the dog. I did not, however, buy any of the papers for it. I add that tag, which is from the Atwell collection. As I said, I bought the large tags, and then I bought, if you see right to the right of my layout, is that alpha. It's a puffy alpha and a kind of a lime green, but not a bright lime green. Now, I had thought about using that for the last word of my title, but then I remembered I had seen this uh, older Heidi Swap epoxy word package, and it had the word always, which was going to be the last word of my title, so that worked perfectly. So I will go with you always is the title of this layout. It is about my dog Sadie and her love of car rides, especially when we're going on vacation, and that's when this photo was taken. We are taking her on vacation with us. Uh, she's very much a people dog and loves to go with us anywhere we go. 
So I pull out these Studio Calico Wood Veneer Hearts, and then in my last month's Scraptastic kit, I had these clear stickers from Heidi Swap, and they had these bi-colored circles, and it just so happened that I had three of them where half of the circle was the proper color, uh, green, black, and yellow, and the other half were like purple, blue, and I don't remember what the other one was. So I just tucked them underneath to hide the colors that wouldn't go. So I'm getting my wood veneers all glued down, and because of the colors, it's a very graphic layout, I wanted to keep the embellishments to a minimum. So other than some enamel dots and a little bit of mist, this is pretty much all I do with the layout. So once I'm getting this all set, I'm going to go ahead and write down my journaling. And as I told you, it is all about Sadie and her love of the car ride. If we come home, like if someone's already home before me and they're outside with her and I pull in, she will come running to that car and you think, oh, she's going to totally greet me. No, she's totally jumping in the car thinking, where are we going? And does it include french fries? because those are her favorite things. Ah, yes. I do pull out this Dear Lizzie roller stamp, and I believe it says, I love you lots. So I just add that below the journaling and then the below, below the title. And as I said, I was going to add some enamel dots, and I add some in black and in a medium green color. Now, I add them in three spots, uh, over on the left-hand side by those wood veneer hearts and my journaling, then below my title and then up in the upper right hand corner with the rest and I go to add those and I realize oh those are the dark green ones not the medium green ones I'm probably the only person who would notice the difference but hey there you go last thing I'm going to do is add some black color shine by Heidi Swap and we're gonna call it done thank you guys so much for joining me here today please flick me a thumbs up if you can have a great day everyone bye